QTV. Today, for our artist profile, we're interviewing Davide Butson Fiore. He's a fantastic photographer, a wonderful graphic designer, and an entrepreneur. What brought you to Hong Kong in the first place? Originally, I, I came here after a magazine that I had with Puff Daddy failed, and uh, we were actually up and running for two years. We started a magazine called uh, Notorious Magazine. I actually started it without him and another partner. Puff Daddy was on one of our last covers, and we had run out of money, and then he decided that he would he was interested in the project because of the name of Notorious and his friend Notorious B.I.G. He actually came in with his own money, which he's never really done before. It was always just his name and not his money. So we were all very excited about that. We relaunched it under his idea of people breaking the rules. So it was no longer about sex, love, and romance, about couples, and it was all about people who were doing it differently, like Prince, or Notorious B.I.G., or people like himself. So having worked in so many different areas, in magazine publishing, and photography, and in so many different countries, how did you really bring all that together and then come to Hong Kong and form a career? Well, you know, I really didn't. I came here to, to gain more experience. I mean, working with um, emphasis and working on custom publishing was something I'd never done before. I was always working on consumer publications, so that was the experience I was looking for. Would you say that you always had a specific aesthetic yeah. that you yeah. hold strong to? I, you know, I studied a lot of great photographers and a lot of great artists. My own style, my own aesthetic started coming out, and I, I found that I think through my graphic design, just from doing design and, and magazines for so long, it was very easy for me to translate that to my photography. Yeah. One of the projects I've been working on for actually a number of years is uh, a project of uh, Global Pride. Being gay myself, I uh, actually have been shooting gay prides around the world for the past 12 years. Go to a new gay pride you know, in the United States, or Tokyo, or in Puerto Rico, or Nebraska, or a number of other places, and I would shoot um, people against white. A lot of people think that all gay people look a certain way, or act a certain way, but you know, we're everywhere, and you know, we're just like you or anybody else. We come in different colors, and different heights, and different sizes. You should do what touches the most people and what has the most effect on most people. And it really, I started, I looked back and I started thinking about that. And so um, I, I decided that this is the career I want to pursue. Changing people's lives, you know, and fitness and taking people to lose, you know, over a hundred kilos. Ultimately, I want to be able to have uh, a fitness company that keeps running and I can be a part of um, for the rest of my life. But at, at the same time, uh, I want to, in a couple of years, you know, open up that dream studio I've always wanted. Yeah. And not just focus on commercial work, but focus on design, mm -hmm. uh, whether it's product design or graphic design or photography that, for me, instead of for food on my table. We so. wish you all the best of luck well, thank in you the so future, much. and it sounds like a very, very promising one for you. Let's hope so. Your <laughs> mouth you. to God's ears. Yeah. <laughs>